Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Ladies and gentlemen, it has officially happened. Jack Eichel has officially been traded. And it could not have happened at a worse time today. First period, uh, I'd say about 7.30 in the morning. And I can't even imagine what it was like for Golden Knights fans. What, it was like 4.30 in the Pacific? Like, that's how mad it was. Yeah, 7.30 a.m. I look at my phone. I see, uh, I think it was Andy Strickland was the first person I saw. I, he's like, I think that I heard the deal was done. I'm like, there's no way. It's not. It's it's Andy Strickland. It's not that big of a source. I'm going to wait till someone, and then Elliot Freeman tweets, hearing the Jack Eagle Vegas deal completed overnight. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, well, here we go. So, of course, while everyone else is making the videos, me, a freshman in high school, has to wait, um, let's see, about 10 hours, not 10 hours, but like probably like seven, eight hours until I can make the video. So, uh, yeah, it, it made me feel great, um, to be honest with you. And, you know, the weird thing is, is that, like, Calgary had an offer last night. Uh, I'll try and bring up the offer real quick here, but it was a it was a whack offer. I was like, oh wow, this is this can make it really interesting here. Here's that's Brad Aldridge. Um, here, oh, I guess he deleted it. But but like what I was saying was that like the offer was legit. Like it was Matthew Kachuk, uh, like two first round picks, and. A bunch of other stuff. It, it was crazy, like, the offer that they had for him. And then, apparently, it was false. Apparently, it, uh, some people said it was, quote, bullshit. So, um, I mean, yeah, you can take that what you will. But anyways, let's get into the trade breakdown of the actual Eichel trade instead of discussing all this random crap that has no uh, relation to it at all. Jack Eichel is, has been traded along with a 2023 third-round pick to the Vegas Golden Knights, um, along with his $12 million contract. And in return, the Buffalo Sabres got forward Alex Tuck, who was injured, uh, forward and prospect Peyton Krebs, technically a prospect, uh, a 2022 project protected uh, top 10 first round pick, and a 2023 third round pick. So they swapped third round picks there, uh, if you're wondering. So, yeah, that's the deal. And, you know, it's kind of crazy how, like, all these mock trades, all this controversy, all the injuries, all, like, all this stuff that, like, Eichel wanted to get, like, he wanted this new surgery. Uh, I can't name it off the top of my head. I think it's a new disc rep disc replacement. So I mean, I mean that's tough. But I mean, Sabers didn't want to give him that. I mean, it, it, what do you, you got to choose? Like, what's best for your career? Leave Buffalo and keep playing, or stay in Buffalo and probably never be the same again. So that's that's kind of what I think Eichel was thinking from that standpoint. Plus, the city sucks. Um, I mean, the city hasn't been that very, very that good. So I'm not gonna say that you know he had a great time in Buffalo. I mean. He's gonna cherish those memories, sure. First being first being drafted, first NHL goal, first hat trick, you know, like all that stuff. But obviously, you know, being in Vegas is amazing for him, and it really it really does seem right for Vegas to make this move at this point because they really were struggling. Like I knew for a while that Vegas didn't want to give him up, be, give Peyton Krebs up, and I was literally ranting on Instagram. I was like, "It's Jack Eichel, it's Jack Eichel. I don't care what anybody says. Jack Eichel over Peyton Krebs any day of the week." Like, Krebs is going to be great for Vegas, Vegas, for Buffalo, because with all the players that they have now, all the young guys, Cousins, Middlestat, like, they have such a young core now that, honestly, like, if they get if they get a high pick this year, they could legitimately be a dangerous team if they develop the prospects right. So that's kind of how I look at it from the Eagles standpoint there. Um, but you people are saying, like, oh, this offer is way too low. Like, Eichel is worth way more than this. You got to remember that he's injured, and that's one thing that I forgot about. He's injured. If he was healthy, um, then you'd be asking for probably uh, Vegas' first and second round picks, including Peyton Krebs and Alex Tuck, which was kind of weird to me. I thought that, like, wait a second, like, how is that even possible? How did they get that to go through? So, obviously, Buffalo uh, lowered their lowered their price down, or else Eichel wouldn't be traded right now. And, I mean, Eichel obviously wanted to get out of there. And I, I was seeing stuff about grievance and about all this stuff about how he didn't get traded out of there sooner than crazy. But, I mean, yeah, that's really the trade. And then another trade happened today, which I, I think is worth uh, covering in this video. Uh, Johnny Boychuk's contract was traded over to the Buffalo Sabres uh, from the New York Islanders for future considerations. First off, considerations will definitely help out the Islanders. Um, obviously, of course, as well as that. I mean, anyways. Um, 
with that, I mean, like, getting that cap off the Islanders is great for them. And I'm going to mention that here, too. Like, getting the Islanders cap off them, like, they've been up against the floor for a little bit there. Obviously, signing Pelic, Komarov, Sorokin. Like, they had to sign big guys this offseason. So, it's great to see that, you know, they got that contract off of them. And they at least have a little bit more money, uh, a little bit more leeway when more contracts come up to play. And I know they have a couple more coming. So, that's an interesting thing with the Islanders there. But, I mean, yeah, to sum it all up, Islanders got more cap space. The Sabres, I mean, it was a bit of a meh outcome, depending on how you look at it, but it could really be the X factor, Payne Krebs. He's really the X factor for how this team does. And, I mean, hey, another first-round pick. I mean, Buffalo's going to take it. I mean, they have three heading into this year. Um, them and the Coyotes, they had them together own like a sixth of the draft picks this year. So, pretty whack. But, and then Vegas, I mean... I mean, Eichel, it is kind of a risk. I got to admit that too. It is a bit of a risk to go out and get Jack Eichel because to be honest with you, after he gets his disc replacement, do we think he'll be the same? Uh, we never know. So Buffalo could very well win this trade, but right now I'm going to give the dub to Vegas. That's why I'm wearing their jersey, uh, just because of that, and I don't have a Sabres jersey. But anyways, uh, that'll do it for this one. Uh, thank you for watching for Ice Porsley. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I was planning on making a Blackhawks video today. But then Ike had other plans. So I guess I'll push that back to uh, either next week or this weekend. Uh, thank you all for watching Fries Porsley. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Adios.